we look holy <laughs> during this? <sighs> <laughs> that was a genuinely baffling experience. <laughs> yep. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I, I, I don't know! <laughs> oh god, the look on your face in the end just made my day. <laughs> the fuck did we just sit through? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, at least, like, whenever I take we go to see a bad movie, I can usually lean over and go, well, at least I've actually, because this is the worst thing I've actually go see. This time I was kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, fu the fuck was that? <laughs> like, I'm still processing that. Like, I mean, I wasn't like this, like upset about it to like the very, very end, and then something happens, and it literally just, just struck me like a thunderbolt, and just like plaster. Like, you know, what? it's. You ever heard that expression? You know, if 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 you if you uh, stand on a hill and the wind changes, your face will stay whoever it is. I feel like that's what happened to me while watching that scene. Because <laughs> my face was stuck like this. No, it's just like. You can see a little bit there. Huh? I'm starting to think of the lighting because right now we got like right in the middle of sunset. So yeah. We, that's, <laughs> dear Lord. <laughs> uh. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. What was that? This was like the shaggy dog if it was somehow even crappy. Sorry, that was, that was the face. We just watched Kevin Spacey give a half-assed voiceover performance no, we, for a we, cat. No, we gave a, we saw Kevin Spacey give an impatient and frustrated performance <laughs> for an hour and a half. As in the entire time, you could practically hear him screaming, like, unconsciously, going, Why the fuck am I doing this? If I didn't need the goddamn money, I wouldn't be doing this goddamn piece of stupid shit where I'm a goddamn fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are so many times of, like, lines there's like, you know what? Wasn't scripted. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, we think they were just recording them. I, I think, no, I don't even think there was a script at all. I think they just followed him around, told me, kept telling me it was a cat and poking with a stick, and then <laughs> recording whatever lines came out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, God damn it. Where, where do you even fucking start? Let's start with the plot. The plot that goes nowhere. <laughs> Basically... So basically, yeah. yeah, Kevin Spacey. Bob Business, it, played <laughs> by Kevin Spacey, is a busy businessman but, who doesn't make time for his family. family. <laughs> yeah, but he's about to learn that life isn't all what it's cut up to be. <laughs> Dude, not tonight. <laughs> I've been through enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. Kevin Space, it's I mean, this. God damn it, this movie has like, and we just saw Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad like early, last week. This has the worst editing I've ever seen, <laughs> like some of the worst editing effects I've ever seen in a movie. Take it back, Kirk Cameron's was worse. <laughs> I was like, hey, this year, let me ask that. This like, year, it's like, hey, Spike, it's 3D called. They want their special effects back. This, Spike, uh, Spike, it's 3D was better. Shark Boy and Lava Girl was better. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear Christ! <laughs> and I know that because that movie fucking fascinated me when I was a kid. Not because it was good, because I was like, "What is happening?" <laughs> and, I, and like ten years later, I'm asking myself. No, actually, it was like fifteen years later. I'm asking myself the same thing. I don't know what the fuck I just saw. I don't know how long this script's been floating around. It had to be for a while. Because I still don't get the WB jokes. I'm not like WB. Uh, the uh, George W. Bush jokes that were in this movie. They just really hated George Bush. I guess. But it's like, was this written in like the early 2000s or something? I. What? What happened? <laughs> That's what I really want to know. I want to know who went down on who. I want to know who owed someone money. I want to know who had what on Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Maybe those rumors about him were true. And just the, <laughs> what, what rumors? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the rumors were he's a fucking cat. Apparently they are true. Yeah. God damn it. This fucking movie. Uh, but yeah, Kevin Spade, like, uh, just, it zoom, has this weird fucking zoom in effect that's completely unnecessary of like, obviously bad CGI. This is like almost on par with the shitty screen, uh, green screen Neighbors 2. Uh, at least they only use that once. Uh, this is used several times. Each one just gets incrementally worse as we kept going on. Right up to the like weird city zoom in to Kevin Spacey on an obvious set soundstage. Oh God! <laughs> like that's when we like that was, that was our strap in moment for this movie, <laughs> where it's kind of like I kind of like, I started laughing because like <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> click click <laughs> tight. Uh, please give hey, your hands and arms. We can do it for real. <laughs> oh no, we can't strap it! <laughs> you can't survive nine lives. <laughs> Your nine lives expired. Uh, I felt like it. Oh god. And honestly, that joke is stupid, but it's better than most other fucking jokes in the movie. There's uh, one. There was only one part where we genuinely laughed. <laughs> and granted, I laughed quite a bit in this movie, but not for the movie reasons the movie wanted yeah. me to. Uh, there was a point I just started hysterically laughing. For, like, <laughs> no, there were two times! <laughs> well, the first one I like, I think the one I played up a bit more. The like, first one I legitimately could not stop laughing because I was like. <laughs> This is so stupid. This is so stupid. <laughs> Kevin like, Spacey is a fucking cat. <laughs> a cat that just got drunk on scotch is pissing on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what it was. A drunk cat Kevin Spacey. <laughs> fucking Christ. And that one pussy joke, you know? Could have thrown one adult joke in there. Yeah... It's Jennifer Garner, who at this point in her career would do fucking anything. Uh, and I don't hate Jennifer Garner by any stretch of the imagination, yeah. but goddamn, between this and Miracles from Heaven. Uh, uh, at least Miracles, when, Miracles from, when, from Heaven was better than this. Yeah. Uh, it was average, but you know what? At least you can't fault it <laughs> for being better than this. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know. This is, this is easily a contender for the worst movie I've seen this year. <laughs> and that's after seeing Norm of the North. So. <laughs> So like this is easily can I honestly I think I remember more of the climax of this movie than I ever will of anything from Norman the North. <laughs> cause that was a point that genuinely like just struck me speechless. Which for me, because I'm a chatty fucking Kathy, uh yeah. was really oh hard God. to do. Just your face on the other side was <laughs> I, I just kept like looking at the screen. <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> like, am I seeing this? Is this reality? Yeah. We just saw a cat jump off a building with wire, chasing after his son who decided to base jump off the world's tallest building. And his magically appearing parachute, which was not there when he jumped. I knew, that, that's a weird thing, like, I knew he was going to do that, but it's like, where the hell did it come from? It's just suddenly there. And like, so many things, like, just things just fucking happen in this movie. It's like, what was the point of any of this? There's like five pissing yeah. jokes. Also, uh, I love how no one knows the fact that a cat just went splat on the pavement. Oh God, oh God, just fucking. Ah, uh, followed by probably one of the worst lines you can space ever heard. Meow! Yeah, hurts. <laughs> and like you could just feel just a part of Kevin Spacey's soul just die. Uh, you know what is this? Like, uh, oh, and this is a really disturbing fa realization I had like in the beginning of the movie before he even turns into the cat. I yeah. was like, what is this movie reminding me of? And I realized, and it hurt me physically, uh, is the scene when. Uh, like I guess his ex-wife and his shit piece of shit daughter, uh, American Beauty. American Beauty. Oh, is that who that was? The one where he's. No, 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 oh. no, no. Not American Beauty. Oh. Worse. Much worse than American Beauty. Uh, I was like, these are like weird color choices. This is really weird cinematography. This looks really shitty. What does this remind me of? And then it hit me, and I was like, oh my god, this looks like Cat in the Hat. <laughs> 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 no, I am dead serious. Watch Cat in the Hat and watch this movie. No, do not do that. We are not trained medical professionals, <laughs> but that will probably kill you. So for the love of God, don't do it. I was like, it. what, the out insanely stupid outfits, the weird color choices, the stupid CGI antics. The terrible cat puns. The terrible cat puns. God damn it. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Uh, but Kevin Spacey, it's like, honestly, it's like mixture between if Cat in the Hat had a baby with a Santa Claus. <laughs> I was going to say Shaggy Dog with a Santa Claus. I never saw Shaggy Dog. Uh, 
I have seen bits, and that's all I needed to see. Fair enough. I uh, saw the original, the one that was campy Disney goodness from the 60s. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, why am I still on my seatbelt? Uh, Cause I need the harness. I need to feel held. <laughs> held. Uh, Don't look at me for that. <laughs> hold me, Grant. No. Do 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 do. <laughs> Wherever you are. I hope I go the route of Jack and die. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna Spoiler! Are you going to jump off the tallest building in the Northern Hemisphere? Wait, was the son's name Jack? I don't know. Jo it was, no, wait. I don't know. I was making a stupid Titanic reference. Oh, you okay. did, but. Yeah. But, uh, my heart will go on. Okay. Oh, I, I would see more of the sound if I knew any of the lyrics. <laughs> Wherever you are, it's like the only three words that I saw and I know. I probably actually still remember all the lyrics. Do you really? Yeah. God, I, I, was, I just don't want to talk about this fucking movie because it's so baffling to me. Like, yeah. I don't know who, like, I don't know why this is being made yeah. today. No, okay, seriously, other things got to talk about the ending, just because what the fuck. Okay, so, long story short, uh, shenanigans happen, Kevin Spacey kind of, like, goes into a coma, turns into a cat because Christopher Walken said so, uh, which is basically true. He probably was the best actor in this movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we did one like the one line we genuinely laughed at. Yeah. Which is like, like uh, towards the end, like uh, Cat gets like Cat gets captured by a bodyguard and thrown to attached, but saved by Christopher Walken. And the guy and the guy says, "Don't like it again." The cat almost scratched me, and he goes, "Oh, that must have been so scary for you." <laughs> and that's like, how scary for you. Something like that. <laughs> but he's like trying to sound genuinely empathetic, so that made it kind of funnier. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so I guess the only part we laughed at, but it turns out that the guy's like assistant, Kevin Spacey's assistant wants to sell the company, so he uses a convoluted plan to kind of convince, poorly convince everyone to let Kevin Spacey die. Yeah. And then uh, sell all over the company, but meanwhile, his son, whose name I forget, uh, is trying Played to... by one of two people from The Flash, uh, Robbie yeah. Amell. Yeah, Firestorm. Uh uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's trying to save the company, but loses for no real good reason because he easily had a case he could have very easily won in court. Yeah. Like, very, 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 very easily. Yeah. And the fact that Tyler was like, no. Okay, for, let me back up to the, before I get to the, the, the batshit insane ending that completely lost me before I was already lost by the majestic of the monstrously terrifying CGI. Huh. Um... Uh, Mixed with the very obnoxious actual <laughs> from the obviously not talking cats. <laughs> That's oh. always man. It's like he always says meow meow meow. Sends the background. They pan over the cat. Nothing. It's like man, you couldn't even pretend. Uh, you couldn't piss off a real cat for five seconds. Not that hard. Um, but anyway, so like, apparently it turns out that he has this. Uh, Kevin Spacey has this. Uh, like document that says like if something happens his son David that's the name of the son was David yeah uh, he gets like 51% of the shares basically basically some controlling share of the company um, but anyway it turns out evil assistant man finds out about this and shreds a document son finds a document because cat antics happen yeah also uh, what kind of high profile company does not have a cross cutting shredder I'm just I know <laughs> it's a stupid nitpick <laughs> but it's like wow you Guys really aren't good at this. Yeah, like I, at the same time, it kind of made me laugh too a little bit to myself. It's like uh, Kevin Spacey really didn't want to sell their giant building for office space because he wants his he wants basically wants a giant dick in the middle of the city and he wants his name to be on it. Um, but I was kind of like, know, it's like we could use it for office space. Like, no, we can't do that because that's my building. He's like, the fuck else are you gonna use it for? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can still have office space and giant penis shaped building. It's still gonna have your fucking name on it. Now you gotta take it off. You're gonna say you can write big old Kevin Spacey splooge on the side <laughs> of the building and nobody's gonna give a shit. All you need is a little imagination. <laughs> Hell, it kind of does climax towards yeah. the end with the fireworks. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Spacey's explosive penis all over the New York City. That's what we call a firebrand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. That was no better than my joke, so I can't really judge. Uh, <laughs> we kind of lack imagination because we just sat through nine lives. So kind of imagine. Oh, it happens to everyone. It's very common. There's actually a bill for that. It's called Star Trek Beyond. <laughs> uh, or fuck even Beethoven. <laughs> Remember that piece of shit. <laughs> 
God bless the actors of the old Disney Channel era. They had to go some serious shit. <laughs> Anyway, but yes, yeah, so it's just. Uh, but hey, okay, back to the uh, the, the bullshit uh, court here. So anyway, son finds the document, puts it back together, calls up Bormin to say, "Hey, legally binding, I own you." Uh, but the evil is the guy like says, "No, I sent them all out. So now you have to deal with me." And blah, blah, blah. you can't do it because I have bouncers. Like, but yeah, but I can sue you. Oh, go ahead and sue me. Okay, why not? <laughs> because it takes a while, and by then, the, by then the thing's gonna go public anyway. So what? Yeah, you can sue and get it all the money back. You can have them, like file charges. This is a serious fraud. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. Just... You have proof that they tried to destroy evidence. That's extortion. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just, you could very easily, easily make a good case here. That would kick. That would kick them out very, very easily. It's like this is granted. This would not involve shenanigans of what we saw in the final act of this fucking movie, which went far and beyond any expectation I had going into this. I'll admit, did not see that coming. <laughs> so after that all happens, David decides, like, okay, I'm going to be the man you want me to be, Dad. I'm going to jump off the building. I'm pretty sure it's not the man he wanted you to be, son. Uh, but anyway, so it goes up there. Cat finds out. So the son jumps off, and then a magically appearing parachute pops up on his back. The ca a cat follows suit, grabs a nearby wire, and skydives in perfect formation yeah. down or to the just, son's location. Or just doing like just a straight up. And here's the kicker: even after like that, they have a weird stare off after the wire like is too short, so he gets falling anyway. And then like they both turn and look at each other, and then the sun goes, Mr. Fussy Pants? And then for some reason, this is an awe-inspiring moment as the cat goes, be free, my child. And then he releases, I made yeah, that part up. Yeah, basically but, tells him to pull the cord. I guess, but it's like, that was why I was like, what, 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 why, 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 why? What? Even, it's, even thinking about now, it's just like, it just, it's rendering me speechless just thinking about it. Just, I don't. And so yeah, to continue, basically, Sun pulls the cord and shows that he was just base jumping instead. And cat goes splat, but nobody sees it. Yeah, because apparently no one saw the CGI cat that was scratching the door like behind them earlier. Or any other goddamn nonsense that happens in this fucking movie. It's like, is this this normal cat thing that happened to you people? Let's not forget about the part where the security guards are going to tase it and record it. Oh, don't <laughs> even... Okay, let me talk about the <laughs> fucking cynical bullshit meme bitch... Crap, this movie shows that too. God, oh, that fucking shit pisses me off. Like, it, yeah. it was like, oh, hold up, like, hold your nails up so I can put this on Instagram. Click. I was waiting for like a hashtag nail done or something like that. No, and then, hashtag like, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> but you can tell ABC they record it once, and because Kevin Space said, I'm not doing that again, they see it's the same clip over and over again. Uh, Wait, which one? The nailed it that Kevin Spacey says. They didn't even bother to record it oh. twice. They reused it the same one twice. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. I was like, man, you guys are fucking lazy in this movie. I was like, you know what's bad? When Garfield was more convincing. That and the sequel. That him, Tim Curry, playing another cat that looked just like Garfield. Yes, I saw that movie. Don't ask me why. It was on TV. I was bored. Fair enough. <laughs> That's how we saw Beethoven. <laughs> I don't know why of all the Disney movies, that's the one I remember. I don't know. It was that one, the creepy one, the boogeyman, or the uh, like the imaginary friend on the bed that turns into the boogeyman. Mm. Remember that one? That was actually kind of freaky. Uh, I don't remember what it was called though. I feel uh, like if I saw a clip, then I'd. Remember. You probably would. Uh, scarred me as a kid. Yeah. Um, those were dark times though. Back in those crappy buff, oh, man. But yeah, this movie sucked. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. It's just, bad. it's, it's, it's literally just generic. It's not even generic. No. It's fucking nightmare no. fuel. No, the plot is generic, but the way it's executed brings it down so freaking hard. Or up, depending how drunk you are. Like, yeah. I really, like, like, of all movies yeah. to bring my flask to, I really missed an opportunity here. <laughs> I don't, I'm shocked you didn't bring it. I almost did. I was like, no, Grant gave me shit last time. I'll be nice this time. I was being, I was gently ribbing you about that. <laughs> True. Like, I, I wasn't actually giving you shit for it. I was just, like, surprised, like, oh my god, you brought a flask with scotch! Uh, yes, was I it, did. Was it scotch? It was scotch. It was scotch! 
good old scotch whiskey. <laughs> you know, what the cat got drunk off of. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of that now. Oh, God, it's like, oh, I'm not waking up for this shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Like, I was wondering if my stomach is bugging me all day. I think it's because my body knew what it was going to do today, and it tried desperately to stop me. <laughs> On the bright side, at least this movie was kind of short. Oh, it was a merciful hour and 20 minutes, but it was like, it was a long hour and 20 minutes of just, God, It just, oh, fuck. Like, it's just so bizarre, and like, it's so many baffling things happen. And I'm like, whose idea was this? Like. Do they even get the tallest building in the end? We don't know. It's never resolved. It's the whole movie. Oh, no. They said that no. They just got the tall, the tallest base jumping off a skyscraper. Oh, I guess that. that fucking works. Whatever. Uh, fucking A. I don't know. It just, like, the CGI is so bad. And when it's, and especially when, like, starts doing just. Green screen. Oh, the screen screen's like so like, much worse. Like, like, it's unimaginably bad. Yeah. Wait and see the opening where he, where he, uh, Skydives. Yeah, there's that. Like, and then oh, the, it burns! And then there's the immediate sh cut that comes afterwards where it like zooms out of his building, going to another building for no fucking reason. Like, that was like so many unnecessary shots. Some of the worst cinematography I've seen this year. Definitely worst screenplay. <laughs> oh, yes. And I'm so tired of the fucking meme shit where it's like, even the like, entire first, uh, first five minutes of the movie, just a bunch of stupid, like, popular cat videos from YouTube. And I'm just like, feel like, fucking really, guys. Fucking really. And then uh, the like the security guards are like, oh, we're gonna break the internet, he <laughs> could like, It's like, no, you're gonna get your butts broken after you go into jail. Yeah, like, cause I've heard, it's, have you heard of animal cruelty assholes? And not to mention, like, who the fuck is recording these YouTube videos? From these part particularly hard to get camera angles in slow motion with, I don't. Yeah, like, and that's, well, one of them made sense, but the other one's like, how is that so crystal clear? And why does it not look like crap? <laughs> What, uh, what phone do you have? More importantly, what? how do you get these many angles and these quick cuts? It's almost like you were filming a movie. Uh, <laughs> with people really desperate for some extra cash. Oh, God. It's, it's felt like a studio that was really desperate for something to make, and then just like grabbed a bunch of random screenplays and just nailed a bunch to a wall, put on a blindfold, and then threw five darts, five of which hit the water cooler next to it, and one <laughs> landed on this piece of script that was already in the trash. <laughs> and they said, fuck it, we need money, let's do it. <laughs> and what's worse is how many goddamn people were in our theater. I was shocked. I'm like, why are you people laughing? Like, I, why are you even here? <laughs> like, Star Trek is still playing. Secret Life of Pets is still playing. It's like, t you literally yeah. anything else. It's like, yeah, take your kid to see Secret Life of Pets. Anything else but this. Take him to see Jason Bourne. I don't know. <laughs> Mommy, is that man dead? No, son, he's just sleeping. <laughs> he's sleeping with a very twisted neck. God damn it. <laughs> People want to really spice up their lives, come the killing joke. <laughs> <laughs> or fuck it. Oh, Go of, see Ice Age. On that topic, <laughs> someone did bring a kid to killing joke. <laughs> yeah, that's for kids. <laughs> that's like saying, oh yeah, let's say my kid to go see Watchmen. I'm sure we love the giant blue penis. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm still, I'm still feeling a killing joke could have been PG-13. <laughs> it probably could have. It's yeah. a very soft R. Um... It's like, ha! Ah, they're about to lose them. Oh, wait, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it does have, you know, pretty cruel content, but not, like, R-rated content. Yeah, I've seen equal things with PG-13. No, I'd agree, but I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, god damn it, this movie pissed me off. <laughs> Like, honestly, it was mostly just that final act. Like, that ah! final thing, that's a really long... Up to this point, I was kind of like, oh my god, this is really stupid. I was kind of getting a kick out of it just because how not giving a fuck Kevin Spacey was about it. Because every line was just dripped of venom <laughs> and impatience, and I can't believe I've sunk this low. <laughs> just self-loathing was, like, just splattered all through this voice recording. Christopher Walken doesn't give two shits. It's like he, he's there for the check and like just a couple easy days at work. <laughs> yep. Jennifer Garner, pretty much same thing. Oh my god! And I feel bad for the guy who plays uh, like his son in this Robbie movie. Robbie Amell. Yeah, because like he's not a bad actor, but uh, what was the last movie you and I saw him in? That high school movie. Is it the Duff? The Duff. That was it. Yeah. 
after it that makes us like make this movie makes that movie like fucking Citizen Kane. Uh, <laughs> I have to type out jerking off a dwarf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dwarf penis. Uh, <laughs> wherever that line goes. Uh, I don't know why that line was funny. God. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the pissed off one. <laughs> Me too. I was kind of looking forward to that. And for a while you were. And then cat skydiving happened. And that turned... <laughs> <laughs> I think it was that one line that uh, I, one of the lines uh, that's I hate karma. It was one of the lines in this movie, and I'm just kind of thinking it's like apropos in the situation for both of us, I guess. Yeah. One for me, think I was gonna laugh at you, you for laughing at me, and Kevin Spacey for being this fucking movie. <laughs> I think it's only when you go, "This is for Superman Returns, isn't it?" <laughs> and was it was like. Kill me now. <laughs> it was like, drown me. Yeah, it was. <laughs> There's all kinds of line like this. This is like, this is so humiliating. <laughs> and just every like cynical, I hate my life line is in this movie. And I'm con not convinced any of it was scripted. Just like public humiliation. Wonderful. Oh, look at this pile of shit I have to eat. I'm going to get drunk <laughs> and do for its recordings that way. Because if it was like a CGI cat wasn't already terrifying, a drunken Kevin Spacey cat creepily ogling his own reflection in a garbage can, then weirdly jumping away from it is like, what the fuck nightmare fuel is this shit? Let's not forget pissing on the carpet. And pissing on the carpet. I was just like, oh dear god. This is like, oh my god. Like Again, you have to just look, it's just some just cat things that happen this week. Because a lot of things like everyone seems to re respond surprisingly okay with, even though Kevin's like, I'm so confused why any of this is happening. Ah. Want to go on to trailers? Well, I feel like if people are watching this video, it's not because they want to genuinely think, wonder if this movie's good or not. They wanted to see rage, and they got rage. From you! <laughs> I will have my revenge. I'm uh, sure. Sure you I will. bought you dinner for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this ticket, and the next ticket. To be fair, that was what, what was the other piece of shit I made you see? Uh, Ice Age. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I paid for Mike and Dave. <laughs> hmm? No, you didn't pay for that one. Oh, I didn't. No. Oh, well, that's because we went for our vacation. Uh, well, whatever. I pay. I'll pay for more tickets later on. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I just God, fucking damn it. Yeah, all right, let's just go on trust. I'm sure I'll think of something else to piss me off later. Uh, so. Oh, 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 the cat dance! <laughs> I, I feel like it was more for you than me. <laughs> okay. So, at some point, the daughter starts to get wise mm -hmm. that... The cat is her dad. Sure. <laughs> so, you know, she goes to to see Christopher Walker, like, is the cat my dad? <laughs> and at some point, there's they, sh they show a part where she's, like, watching a video of her, like, where she's dancing on her dad's feet. Yeah. And then the cat just, like, puts on a record, gets on her daughter's feet. And starts creepily CGI dancing to the song, like, <laughs> in the video. And just, like... I was like, oh, no, no, ah, oh. <laughs> yep, I was like, this is actually happening, <laughs> that, that was, just, that was we, part where I laughed at you, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> then cat skydiving happened, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> you know <laughs> You know what I feel? I feel like Wild Earp in Tombstone. <laughs> no! 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 The thing is, I saw that bit, but I don't know what the context for is because I've not actually seen the movie. Uh, it was like somebody, some character died. But yeah, I I I'm gonna assume it was. Who played Wild Earp again? Was it 
Val Kilmer or Kurt I, Russell? I think it was Val Kilmer. No, I uh, think it's probably whoever Kurt Russell played probably got killed, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah probably. Uh, spoiler for Tombstone, I guess. Uh, Presumably. We're yeah. just guessing. Uh, <laughs> God, just that. <laughs> Oh god, your reaction to me reminded me of the cat dance, though. <laughs> it was good. Darth Vader scream. No! <laughs> this was an experience. Yeah. God, it doesn't help there are like so many hateable people in here. Like the the brat kid that the was. The brat kid. Uh, the drunken, like, biological mother of Robbie Amell. Yeah. Um. The fucking CEO dude, whoever the hell's name was, very much everyone else, like, everyone except like Jennifer Garner. Even then, she's so bland you could like care less. Yeah, he was surprisingly okay with all the weird cat shenanigans that happens. Yeah. Even though she, there's a lot of weird references to cutting off people's testicles in this movie. That's probably the same threat they used to get him in this movie. I can only imagine. <laughs> oh God, uh, trailers. <laughs> so we got into the into. Into the wild. Into the wild. I was like, that is not what this movie... Uh, Into the wild. We just talked about plenty of times before. Yeah. We're just like, you know, after seeing this movie, that suddenly doesn't look so bad. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Superman! <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about <laughs> that. Why were the cat designs go like... <laughs> I would have loved it if the cat towards the end... No. <laughs> you stay. I go. No following. <laughs> yeah, splat! <laughs> I don't want to kick this, kick this fucking cat. Uh, after the fifth fucking time, that's the fall that fucking killed the cat. Not that like three other ones, he's perfectly fine afterwards. Yeah, jump for a poundhouse uh, apartment building. Sure, you can totally do that. Not gonna hurt a fly in your little head. Hair on your little head. I can't do words. And we took away my smarts. Yeah, we're tired. This movie sucks. So we, with a few things we're talking yeah. about before, like into the into the wild, monster, monster trucks, uh, sing, which I've already talked about to death. And home for peculiar children, which we get all the freaking time. I've it's only the second time I've gotten this trailer. No, we've seen this like three times. This I've one. only seen it twice. No, because I saw it with you twice. I know that, and this was the third. Was are you sure? Because I remember seeing it twice. Yep. Oh, I remember. Uh, I know I do like the. I, oh yeah, it's like because it's British X Men basically. Yeah. Uh, but we did get a very odd trailer for Fantastic yeah, Beasts. It's kind of like them. behind the scenes. Which, like, that's a shit... Uh, you guys don't know how to make a trailer, do you? Because that's a really shitty trailer. <laughs> it was kind of a semi-behind the scenes thing, too. It was a bit of a, like, a retrospective about, like... Yeah, but it's like, no, show, don't tell. You don't tell me what your characters unless it's a bunch of behind the scenes thing. It's a trailer. Show me the fucking clips yeah. I can make when I see the movie. Don't say, like, you should go see this because that's good characters and good stuff in there. You should go see it because of that. And I'm like, N why don't you show me rather than make me feel, really feel like you're really insecure about, like, a science project and explain everything to me. Yeah. This, um, and then uh, we got one we really want to see, which is Kubo and the Two Strings. This is a trail. This was a trailer I hadn't seen. Before. No, this, I haven't seen this one either. And it was like, it I was like, we got so excited, and then the movie started. And I'm like, <laughs> but it looks really fucking good. Yeah. Like, and I, I love this production studio. They've made yeah. some of the best, like, in my, like, some of my favorite anime movies. Yeah. Like my only, the only one I didn't necessarily like, even that it wasn't bad. Box trolls. Yeah. I mean, it was the weakest of the three for sure, but I yeah. still like, I still thought it was decent. Uh. Anyway, they were, like even if it's like it's mediocre, at least it's still like imaginative. It's still got great visuals. Yeah. Oh, I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. Wholeheartedly agree. And I was like, I think it's the big Bottrell biggest weaknesses. Again, it followed like great movies like Cor Coraline or Paranorman. Uh, yep. So you had those to like, compare it to. And you watch it like, well, it's entertaining, but it's not great. Yeah. Um. Uh, but this one looks like it's this great fantasy from fantastic visuals, great imagination. Like it looks fantastic. That's next week. Can't wait for that. Thank you, Lord, because I need something to wash the taste out of this out of my mouth. Yep. Uh, God. <laughs> I tagged you to post on Facebook. I see Oh, Leonard Ori commented. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck this movie. Uh, that's uh, that's my uh, best way to say it. Fuck this movie. Fuck this cynical piece of shit. That was obviously written like 10 years ago. Yeah. 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 Our, our view's probably way funnier than the movie is. Your suffering made it worth it. If I knew I'm not, I wouldn't have paid for the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? Can I go back in time and go like, no, 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 dude, dude, dude. I, you can pay for the ticket. Trust me. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. It'll be good. <laughs> yeah, you know like, what? It's karma for me because I was giving you shit the entire way over here. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I was like, no, nah, dude, this is gonna be an amazing movie of the year. <laughs> and just pulling the West and just fucking with you. And every time you like, like more and more like you're gonna punch me. <laughs> so you know what? I think uh, this deal is just fair enough. I think this deal's getting worse all the time. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? That was a Star Wars joke. In case you didn't get the joke. Like, this movie feels the need to tell all the, all the jokes. Hmm. That was a weak joke. Move around along. Uh, what's, what, what, what else we got next week? Let me see. It's gotta be better than this. Oh, it will. I mean, this is already contender. For, again, like I said, this is up, kind of, This is gonna be a tough fight between this and Nor the North. For me, this is definitely my number one for a piece oh. of crap. Oh, I, I have no doubt. <laughs> oh, actually, we got uh, Sausage Party and Pete's Dragon. Which I'd say getting a lot better reviews than you think it would. Yeah. Sausage Party as well, actually. Uh, I'm still probably going to Foster hate it. Jenkins, which I actually was kind of interested in. Uh, Ooh, Hell on High Water! Oh, you know what that one is. Uh, oh, shoot. That was the one done by the writer Sicario. And basically involves Jeff Bridges versus Chris Pine and Ben Forster. Well, I'm free next week, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've got free evenings now. Yay. Oh my god, Mel Gibson's in a good movie? <laughs> Wait! He's in a movie? <laughs> Holy shit. And we still got we, we we still gotta watch The Little Prince, because that's on Netflix now and I really want to see that. So Oh yeah. So uh yeah, that's all we got. So I hope you all enjoyed this review. And I'm gonna go home and cry into a bottle of whiskey. And lament my life decisions. Yep. Yeah. Well, good night everybody. My heart will go on!